Hello everyone, Luis Padilla with the Padilla Group. So I always get this question, is it the right time to buy? Well, the reality is, first we gotta see your intentions. Why are you trying to buy, right? Are you A, trying to buy a house for you and your family to live there? B, are you trying to buy a house to rent it out? Or C, you're trying to buy a house to flip it and make a quick profit, right? Each one has a different answer, right? So once you see that, you have to see if you even qualify. Right, we gotta make sure the numbers make sense. So if it's for you and your family and you're trying to find the right time, it could take years before you decide to make a move. But the reality is, if you could afford the payment and you could make a move and you're ready to go, why not? Let's say next year the houses do drop and you lose your job or you get a car and now you don't qualify anymore. So even if the house is dropped, you're not able to buy a house anymore. So that's something that we forget. We gotta make sure we qualify, right? Now, if you're able to qualify and the payments make sense, since you're already paying rent every single month, why not buy the house? Especially if you're okay with the, the payments. The rate is gonna be locked. You're gonna be there for three, five, seven, ten 10 years, right? Let's say the kids grow up. Now, you could sell the house, get the equity out, maybe pay some of your bills, and then on top of that, be able to upgrade and give a bigger down payment to be able to get a better house and still pay a low monthly payment, right? Instead of renting, and then you're not really building equity, you're just paying rent every single every single month. And the moment that you do decide to leave, you don't really take anything out besides you poly your deposit. And in that case, even then you still don't get your deposit. Now too, if you're trying to rent it out, yeah, we'll have to sit down. And now it's not about the house that you buy, right? Now it's not how much you qualify for, it's the house that you're actually getting to make sure that it actually gives you a return on your rent. Either A, you're renting out to roommates, B, you're getting multiple family units, and that requires a little bit of strategy, how much down are you putting in? And on top of that, you also have to make sure you do qualify. So, and then three, right? Let's say you're trying to buy an investment property. We gotta make sure that we find the right property that the, the the that it makes sense, right? How much are you getting it for? How much money are you gonna put in to fix it? And on top of that, how much are you gonna get it uh, for the ARV? So you gotta make sure all those things make sense. But there's no right or wrong answer on this. It just depends on you and your and your goals and your motivation on what you wanna do. So if you're interested, feel free to call me, send me a message. And I'll be more than happy to help you guys out, okay? Have a wonderful day.